<risa> ¿Están bien ahí? Alright guys, today we got a recovery for you. It's a little different than uh, the normal off-road, you know, heavy equipment or tractors or trucks. It's actually a roadside recovery. Um, we just got a phone call and a text actually from uh, UDOT, which is the Department of Transportation here in Utah. And they said that there is a family uh, traveling back to Mexico in an old school bus and they're broken down, I guess, on the side of the road or side of the freeway up here. And they have no way to fix their bus and they're traveling with, I guess, very limited supplies. And from what I understand, it might just be like two women and a child. Um, and I guess the state, uh, UDOT has been trying to do everything they can to help, but their hands are also a little bit tied because they can't like do a bunch of mechanical repairs and stuff. So uh, right now we are going to, uh, like I said, I just barely got the phone call. Uh, so I'm gonna go in and grab the guys and we're gonna go uh, head up there and see what's going on, see what their bus needs and see if we need to tow it back here to the shop or if we can fix it on the side of the road. Um, this is more like the mechanical side of things that we do. Uh, we obviously all uh, have you know mechanical backgrounds. I'll probably grab uh, Chris, one of my guys here in the shop. Um, I guess they don't speak uh, English at all, so I do speak Spanish. Obviously, Chris is from Mexico as well, so we'll be able to communicate with them. I think that's one of the biggest issues that the UDOT is having with them is none of those guys speak Spanish, and so there's like this huge language barrier. But from what I understand, they like they spent the side of the, or the the night on the side of the road last night, and it was like super cold here. So uh, we're gonna go do what we can to help them out, and this could turn into you know a cool little recovery or at least some sort of like you know mechanical process video showing you what their bus needs done. So we're gonna head out and see what's going on. All right, let's go see what uh, Old Hand is complaining about today. Let him know that uh, it's time to go do a recovery. I'm sure we'll be excited. We like getting to the office. Hey, buddy. What's up? Wanna go do a recovery? On the side of the road? Yep, let's go. Okay. Grab Alec, grab Eric, grab the cameras. I'll go grab Chris, huh? My All right, now we're gonna go find Chris. AKA Vato, that's what we call him. Vato means like dude in Spanish or bro or could mean a million different things. That guy right there, that's Vato. That's Is Vato or Sancho? Va Vato. Oh. <laughs> Vato. Vamos a hacer un, uh, un recovery. like the neighborhood the neighborhood's perfect and what's nice is there's a school just right down the road it's got the perfect size it's got the right amount of kids not too big not too small it's perfect it's a beautiful plot of land here you can look out on the land see all the animals running around and know that your ancestors came here and conquered this land listen man i've been selling property up here for years now yeah. and everyone has loved exactly this this exact spot is what everyone's looking for you know this does feel like traditional scotland to me so i do love the feeling the vibe the, the environment. You can stand out here, play your bagpipes, yeah. you can watch the sheep run around, build a nice castle, do whatever you want. I can't wait to see the plot. Let's check it out. You'll never lose money buying here. Well, here it is. It's been in my family for years. This man, if you've ever wanted property in Scotland, now's the time. Yeah, this looks like a perfect plot for me. You know, I'll take it. Congratulations. Welcome home, Lord Sparks. Thank you. And now that you own a plot of land in Scotland, you are now. Lord Heavy D Sparks. Lord Heavy D Sparks. Hereafter referred to as the Lord. Welcome home, the Lordship. Man, I've always wanted to be a Lord. Lord Heavy D Sparks looks good on that proclamation. And the only thing better than my proclamation declaring that I'm a Lord of Scotland is my one square foot plot of land. And now that I'm a landowner in Scotland, I am officially a Lord. You see, in Scotland, landowners are referred to as Lords or Ladies. So now that I have one square foot of land in Scotland, I'm officially Lord Heavy D Sparks. Established title sets it up so that you can buy as little as one square foot of land. They register the paperwork and they send you this proclamation that makes you an official Lord or Lady. This makes one of the most killer Christmas presents I've ever seen. So you can make yourself or one of your loved ones a fancy Lord or Lady. If you go to establishedtitles.com forward slash Heavy D Sparks and use the promo code Heavy D Sparks, you're getting 10% off your order. You're gonna own land in Scotland and you're gonna become a fancy lord or lady. Now guys, one of the coolest things about established titles is the fact that for every plot of land they sell, they also plant trees to help protect and beautify the forests of Scotland and places all over the world. So here's what I need you to do. 
Click the link in my description below. Go to establishedtitles.com forward slash heavy D sparks. Use the promo code heavy D sparks. You're going to get 10% off your order. And you, my friend, are going to be able to make yourself or someone you love a fancy lord or lady. So make it happen now. Okay, we're just going to take my truck for now and then figure out whether we need to get the tow truck or whatever else. There probably will be a lot of Spanish in this video um, because the people that we're going to help, uh, I think, only speak Spanish. So we'll do our best to subtitle that for you. I know it's frustrating when you watch something in a different language, you don't know what we're saying. So it's really hard actually to do subtitles. Not that hard, but it takes a lot of time to do subtitles and we try to get videos up as quickly as possible. So just know that we'll do our very best if certain things get missed out or you know forgotten. I'm sorry in advance, but I think we should be good. See, ¿Sí? see ¿Sí or no? Vámonos. Hey man, step on in. Come on into my humble boat. So, just got to the UDOT mainly shed and met up with the family, super cool family. Um, the mom, Karen, her mom, Alejandra, and then the four year old little girl. Um, and they've just been coming from Mexico, uh, or actually from Idaho, Aberdeen, down to. Uh, Ensenada is where they're headed. So they're headed home to kind of stay and uh, that's where they have problems with the bus. So we're gonna check out the bus right now. This is actually really cool because this is the UDOT maintenance shed where they work on all the plows. And these guys were all cool enough. This is not part of their job, by the way, but they were all cool enough to like get together, bring the bus here, tables full of like all sorts of toys and stuff they bought for little girls. So it's awesome to see everybody kind of chipping in and helping out. Um, but the reason why I think it's important that we help is because we know these older vehicles really well. These guys work on pretty much the same truck all the time. So Chris has worked on everything and anything. So that's why I think we should be able to get them going. So we're gonna see what's going on with their van. I think uh, pulley or something's going on, but it should be fairly simple, but we wanna make sure that it's like fixed fixed because they still have a solid you know, 12 hours before they get to Mexico. Ahorita vamos para la grúa y lo traemos para acá y después okay. uh, ustedes también lo llevamos para allá y mientras lo arreglamos, ¿ok? Muy bien, sí, muchas Entonces, gracias. Sí, cómo no, unos 15 minutos. Muy bien, muchas gracias. Gracias. All right, so the plan is we got the rollback tow truck. We're going to head back up there, load their bus up on the bed here, and then bring them back with us. I think we're going to drop them off at a hotel. I got a motel room they were on the side of the freeway all night. That way they can rest, shower up, while we're getting their bus fixed. We should be able to get it done today as long as we have the parts here locally that we need. If not, then they'll have somewhere to stay tonight and we'll get them on the road tomorrow, but we'll see what happens. Um, but the deal actually fell through. Uh, it didn't work out, so we're keeping it. And I honestly, like, I'm super pumped about that because I was really reluctant to sell it anyways, but we were gonna just get a different one, but I'm kinda glad. She's sticking around for a reason.
descansar un rato, okay. hacer lo que quieran. Okay. Um, creo que va a estar hoy, pero es peor caso, si no está, se queda ahí en el hotel y okay. mañana, en la mañana salimos. Pero yo creo que sí va a estar. Okay. Pero que se queda ahí lo más que se... Está bien, muchísimas gracias. Todo lo que quieran, ¿okay? sí, Entonces, sí. vamos a bajar las cosas que ocupan en, la, en el hotel. Sí. Um, en una la camioneta aquí y ahí vamos. ¿Listo? Okay. Aquí están dentro del bus. Sí. Bueno, muy bueno. Muy bueno. All right, so now we're gonna run them over to the hotel. Let them take a shower, get some good sleep. I think the bus, depending on what's wrong with it, we should still be able to have it done today. But if for some reason we have to order a part or something's not here, then we'll have them spend the night in the hotel and take them tomorrow. When I told them. We we're going to the hotel, you can see just this huge sigh of relief on their faces. Like they've been sleeping in this bus on the side of the road with like limited supplies for the last little while. So I'm sure they're excited to get a little rest. So off to the hotel is where we're going. Hola. No, venimos, venimos y vamos y venimos. Oh, okay. Ahorita que ya abrieron la frontera, verdad? Así que nos aventamos. Viven en Ensenada. En Ensenada. Sí. Qué bonito. Hay una, una taquería ahí, se llama El Trailero. Qué rico taco. Sí. Gracias a Dios, mucha gente que, que nos colaboró, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. o sea, ¿Cómo se bajaron del freeway? No, yo tuve que hacer salida. ¿Ah, oh, sí? Sí. Dije, pues hasta donde pueda, este, <laughs> voy a tratar de, 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 de salir y le digo, y procura, le digo, ir tú checándome los lados porque ya el carro. Si no le, le funcionaban las direccionales. Oh, la dirección, sí. Ajá, le dije, trata, le dije, porque tampoco, o sea, procurándolas a ellas y procurando yo no ocasionar un accidente. Entonces, le dije, hay que buscar una salida ahorita ya rápido y pues para donde nos dé. Sí. Y ya llegó el momento en que el volante se puso bien duro, los frenos no querían como responder muy bien, pero pues gracias a Dios este, pudimos estacionarlo ahí en el... En el Chevron, Ajá. Ajá, ahí en el Chevron quedamos muy bien. Y hasta ahí ya. llegaron. Hasta Ajá. Ahí. Wow. Pues ya ahí ya lo chequé todo. Es que yo iba a cambiar la banda ayer. Ay, Dije, le cambió la banda ahorita y, sí. y este y nos movemos. Nada más que como tenía que quitar ciertas piezas sí. y pues ocupaba yo ayuda para hacerlo Ajá. y no quería tenerla ahí en el frío. Ajá. Entonces le y no digo, hay casi pues, nada de espacio ahí. Sí, no hay espacio. Entonces yo tenía que ponerme también por debajo. Entonces sí. digo, sabes que mejor me voy a esperar a, a ver si viene alguien Ajá. que sepa un poquito y ya este, le ayudo yo a esa persona. ¿Acaso eres mecánica? Pues... Sabes de todo. Sí, poco, sí, pues es que ando mucho en carretera, entonces yo cambio llantas, sí. las bujías, wow. que los aceites, entonces Ay. tengo que tener un poquito de conocimiento sí. por eso, porque tampoco no me gusta, pues soy mujer, pero también me gusta saber. Sí, eso. pues. Entonces es, siempre es necesario poder hacer uno las cosas por uno. Bien inteligente. Entonces yo les marco cuando ya esté y lo, lo traemos para acá para que okay. esté todo bien. Como le dije, no sé cuándo va a estar, pero a lo mejor está hoy. Sí. Si no, les, les se los aviso. Está bien. Listo. ¿Todo bien? Sí, ahorita lo... Ahí quedamos. Ok. Hasta luego. Bye bye. Get these guys taken care of on the road, no time. They said it's just a belt that we need to worry about. No, we're gonna do it once over on everything. Do a double check, make sure everything's good to go. They have a long road ahead of them. If it was up to me, I would want everything checked, so that's what we're gonna do. 
makes they're good to go. <laughs> There's and no look room. Look at this freaking engine compartment. Yeah, everything you gotta do on that big ass engine, you're doing in a 12 inch <laughs> crack. That's already filled with a bunch of stuff. No, it's diesel, it's a, it's a Chevy diesel. It's a single Okay, the problem was that the el compressor del aire acondicionado se amarró y reventó la banda eh, y ahorita lo que vamos a hacer vamos a, a reemplazarlo por uno nuevo vamos a ponerle su nueva banda vamos a checar que todo esté bien aceite líquido todo para que puedan tener un buen viaje es lo que vamos a hacer ahora you have it done in an hour uh, maybe two hours two hours yeah. if you get it done in two hours we'll yeah. get you a coke no. oh. <laughs> That's uh, I know exactly what that's called. That's Ooh. called the slip and slide cool 3000. <laughs> right here is where the AC compressor sits, right? Hold on, no, let Amigo point to it. Point to it, Amigo. Right no, point to it. <laughs> right so the AC compressor sits here. <laughs> well, underneath is a thermostat housing. And it turns out the bolt for the thermostat housing was missing and it's causing all your coolant to leak out the back. Which means if the AC compressor wouldn't have gone out, you would have leaked all your coolant out, you would have blown up your motor anyway, it wouldn't have made it Mexico. So it's actually kind of a good thing Bad thing that they slept outside all night, but a good thing that their bus broke here where we could fix it so they can make the trip all the way to Mexico. Chipotle? Huge shout out to the Centerville UDOT maintenance shed. Every single dude over there, Andre, my buddy over there, uh, reached out and got us hooked up with them. But man, they, they like went so above and beyond to help these people. Took them to Walmart, bought like toys for the little girl. It was just really cool. And the reason why we're posting videos like this is because it starts like that ripple effect, right? When somebody sees, you know, good deeds being done, like here on this channel or any other channel for that matter, they're like, hey, I wanna reach out, I wanna help. And you wouldn't believe how many people we have that reach out and try to help in different circumstances like this when people are in need. So if you're watching this, just know it feels really good to help people. And if you ever get the opportunity, do it. One person can help one person. I know it's daunting to think about all the people that need help, but one can help one pretty easily. And uh, that's what we're all about. This is the AC compressor. Basically, it just seized up and just stopped. Which, like I said, is a good thing because that helped us, that helped them have to stop. And we found other things that were going to be much bigger problems down the road. The old bus is going to be top shape. A brand new old girl. No, I knew you were gonna spank me. I didn't know that. I just saw it. I was spanking when I get excited. You gotta really, you gotta... What's happening, man? I saw the gun. I need to change the oil for the antifreeze. Check it. Everything is okay. Ready to go. So now it's finished. I'll still run it and see how it's working. Good to go. Got all the problems fixed. Ended up changing a ton of parts. Oil, all the coolant, thermostat, gaskets, AC compressor, belts. Listen to her now. Oh yeah. That's as good as an old GM diesel will sound. We even topped off, gave him a fuel tank. So we're gonna head to the hotel now, give it to him, send them on their way to Mexico. Found some almonds. They're buried under his Q-tips. So right now I'm trying to follow this crazy guy in the bus. So we got the ladies bus all fixed up. Okay, got a new gasket, new bolt in the thermostat housing, put a new AC compressor in. Things are looking good. Like the bus will actually make it all the way. Heavy D is now piloting the bus back to the ladies. Back to the senoritas where we can put them in the bus and 
send them on their way to Mexico. New and improved bus. <laughs> no, we just get them loaded up and back on the road. Got the bus all fixed up. Excited? done and it feels so freaking good like the reason why we post videos like this and I've said this in the past is I don't care that people know that we do this but when we do this it starts like this ripple effect of other people that want to get involved and, and help so that's the main reason why we post things like this because we want everybody to realize that there's an opportunity to help somebody around you so um, we did quite a bit of work on the bus and the family was super happy and the little girl gave me the sweetest kiss on the cheek that I think I've ever had so it was and you got a high five right yeah I got a high five so I'll count it because I just met her, you know. It's true, so that's pretty good. Anyways guys, hope you enjoy. See you in the next one.